Hi, today we're having a quick look at the M70 mixer and uh, we're using it with Tractor Scratch or Tractor Pro and uh, we want to use it as a standalone controller. Um, so, we've uh, modified the tractor mapping a wee bit. Uh, essentially we've turned the uh, two jog wheels, uh, the two rotary encoders rather, into jog wheels and uh, we've improved the fast search and we've also added some uh, master tempo control and pitch bend so that we can synchronize things to the master. So uh, let's load a track in there. Now first of all, uh, for queuing a track, it was a little bit uh, fiddly before, but now we simply push the shift key and turn our rotary encoder. <laughs> Uh, we can set our cue point and we're away. We can also use the rotary encoder with the shift key to pitch bend. Of course we've also got the uh, pitch bend lever here to do that with. Now uh, back to the jog wheel here, we've also added in the scratch touch, jog wheel touch function. So we can actually grab a beat and hold on to it. Shift. We can hold on to that beat and release it when we want it to play. That might make things a bit easier if you're in a hurry to uh, cue. You don't have time to set a cue point. Now uh, we've also fixed up the pitch bend, it was a little uh, out of hand before, the uh, fast search rather. So uh, we hold shift and fast search, it's a bit, lot smoother than it was before. And oh, oh whoops, Whis missed my cue, so I can scroll back. Okay, re -cue. Okay, the third function we added was uh, master tempo control. So, using the shift key, we can use the central rotary encoder. Change the pitch down, change the pitch up, pitch up. We can also pitch bend using the TX and FX buttons. So there's just a couple of really simple basic mods we've done to the MIDI file so that you can use your M70 as a completely standalone controller.